I'm just excited to see where I live after this. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know where. I'll be coming out of here and then straight into like looking for flat. Mark said we should live together. Yeah. Can you imagine Mark and me living together? Yeah, that'd be good. We should kill each other. Do you not think it'd be good? Um, it could be funny. Yeah. It could be funny. Um, I think we could cope with each other. Yeah. I think. We might kill each other at some point though. Do you like not? I, I don't know how I feel about Mark, to be fully honest. <laughs> I really don't know. It's just because. Mark doesn't really talk about these kind of things, do you know what yeah. I mean? He kind of hints at things sometimes, yeah. and then, then he'll leave it, then I'll try and talk to him about something, and he's just kind of like, he's like, no, Christopher, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, right, okay. He showed a few things yesterday, didn't he? Huh? He showed a few things yesterday, didn't he? Yeah, he does look at it sometimes. He's like, like he'll just kind of invite me up to Pillow Mountain. <laughs> I'm like, right. You are, you are invited up to the mountain oh, tonight. Yeah, invited. It's like, and then you're like sent back the another night. That, yeah, like some nights I'll go over and I'm like, so do you want me to sit here, Mark? And I, he's like, not tonight, Christopher. Then I'll be lying in bed another night and he's like, if I was you, I'd be like, well, listen, I'm not coming up. If you don't let me come in tonight, I'm not up tomorrow night. Correct. I've tried that one as well, but uh, you What'd know, you say? he's just, can I stop <laughs> sulking with me? And I'm not, it's like, so you can never win with him. He's a little. You can never yeah. win with Mark. He's terrible like that. Like he had a go at me the other night. I was coming out, he was like, Christopher, come on up and see me. And I was like, Mark, climbing that thing is like climbing f***ing Kilimanjaro. Seriously. And so I climbed up into his bed and I was wearing this little grey vest top. And he was kind of like, oh, f your tan lines offend me, get out. <laughs> I was like, are you actually having a laugh? He was like, go and scrub them off. I was like, Mark, it's two in the morning. I'm not going to scrub my tan lines. And he's like, no, go and do it. And I, do they offend you that much? And he's like, it really, really offends me. Um, <laughs> Like, right. I was like, right, I'm going to bed. So I got into bed and ignored him for 10 minutes. And then he's like, Christopher, Christopher. Oh, right, fine, I'll come, I'll, come, I'll, come, I'll come and see you. I'll come and see you. Say if you did like, get together with her and then like, didn't get married, right? Oh, it would be the campus wedding of all time. <laughs> Seriously, you'd expect Liza Minnelli to burst out in confetti <laughs> afterwards. Seriously, it's shocking. That would be the only thing it was lacking at that point. <laughs> Liza. Oh, Mark, well too. funny. I can only imagine what my mum would make of Mark. <laughs> She'd find him hilarious. Yeah. I think she would. She'd just be like, Mark to me is a cartoon character. I don't know if he's real at times, but he, you know, because he looks. He's funny, isn't he? Oh, he's just, honestly, he's like amazing. He's such a brilliant housemate. <laughs>